Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marisa and I'm here on YouTube to talk about all things curly hair. And today we are gonna to talk about one particular brand. So a big thank you to Sumalai for sponsoring this video today. I'm going to review their products, uh, tell you about them, show you how I use them. I've actually been using some of these for well over a year now. Um, they are amongst my favorites. So in particular, the shampoo and conditioner. Um, I've been using, like I say, for over a year and I really, really rate them, really enjoy using them. They're a small European brand and their ethos is a vegan, cruelty-free, natural, plant-powered products. Ooh, that's hard to say, plant-powered products. <laughs> so they've got just really nice ingredients. They are sulfate and silicon-free and they're just really good for your hair. First of all, I'm just gonna talk you through what we've got here. Ooh. First off, we're going to start by talking about one of my personal favourites, um, which is the shampoo. Also Soft Curls Hydrating Shampoo with Citrus Fruit Oils. I just love this shampoo because it is so gentle and it smells amazing. It's got kind of like a, a really fresh, kind of slightly minty, citrusy smell. And it contains amazing things like orange peel oil, it has aloe leaf powder, peppermint oil, which is where that lovely minty smell comes from, and just loads and loads of lovely, active, powerful plant-based ingredients, which not only make it smell good, but also make it work really, really well. When you get this bottle, it comes with a regular like flip lid, or you can replace it with this little nozzle, which makes it really easy to focus the shampoo just on your scalp if that's what you want to do. It does foam a little, but it's a sulfate free shampoo obviously and it's really, really gentle. So it's not like a thick, huge lather. The more you use and the more water you add, the more lather you're gonna get. So I'm just using the nozzle on the bottle to apply the shampoo directly to my scalp and just giving it a good old massage. As you can see, there's not a lot of lather but when I add a bit more water, then the lather starts to increase a little bit. Then comes this, which is actually new to me. So I've had the products before, but I haven't had this before, and this is their scalp massager. Now, I have a scalp massager. Oh, a bit of ASMR there, if you're into that. <laughs> I have a scalp massager already, which I got from Amazon a while ago. It does have silicon bristles, but I find it a little bit sore to use, like my scalp's fairly sensitive. I don't tend to use it. So when this came, I thought, oh well, I'll give it a shot. Well, it is so much softer and more comfortable on my scalp. Like I could really, really give my scalp a scrub with it without any discomfort at all. It just felt really nice. Because as you can see, they are really flexible and soft. And it's also really nice to hold because it's got this ergonomic design. Your hand slips through and it's got these grooves for your fingers. So all in all, absolutely excellent. And my scalp felt great after using this. Really, really liked it. So this works really well if you're co-washing or shampooing your hair, just to give your scalp an extra scrub. And actually I wanted to mention here that my nine-year-old daughter has a very sensitive scalp. She's very tender headed. And I used this on her the other day and she loved it. She said it felt really soft and I managed to get her scalp cleaner than I normally can because she has a lot of hair uh, without any discomfort on her part at all. So I was really impressed. Next up is the Also Soft Curls Hydrating Conditioner, which also has citrus fruit oils. And again, it smells delicious, it smells really citrusy and fresh. And this has castor oil, aloe leaf juice, sunflower seed oil, again, orange peel oil, it also has bilberry fruit and leaf extract. So again, just full of really powerful natural ingredients. It is a really moisturizing shampoo. However, it's also lightweight. It doesn't weigh my hair down. My hair is quite easily weighed down. Um, although my hair is high porosity, it's fine. And uh, with it being a looser curl pattern, it does tend to get weighed down quite easily. Um, but this never does. So this conditioner has got really, really good slip. It's got a really creamy consistency. So I just smooth the product between my hands and then smooth it over my hair and then do plenty of raking through so that the product gets really evenly distributed and then I start squishing. This is called squish to condition and I have an entire video on how to squish to condition on my channel. 
you basically want to squish in the conditioner, add some more water to rinse your scalp and then squish that conditioner and water mixture that runs down your hair back into your hair. And this really will plump up those clumps and get your hair really well moisturised. Well, next up we have the Sumilai Leave-In Conditioner. It's actually a three-in-one product, which I didn't know until recently when I read it on their website. You can actually use this leave-in conditioner as a leave-in, as a mask, as a treatment, or as a regular conditioner. So really, really good multitasker. Um, it's got shea butter and avocado oil. So it's really moisturizing, but again, it's not heavy. It's quite lightweight. So I only use a tiny bit of this leave-in conditioner and emulsify it really well in my hands with some water and then smooth it through and just rake it through thoroughly. And a little really does go a long way with this leave-in. Next comes something new from Sumilai and it is a very cool detangling brush. You can actually use this two ways. You've got this little clip on the back here which is holding these, um, I don't know what you call them, these parts of the brush. <laughs> Prongs? Maybe that's the word. Holding the prongs of the brush in that open position, like a wide tooth comb. And then of course you've got fairly widely spaced, small plastic teeth going down the way on each prong. But you can also remove this. It just clips off. And now you have a really flexible brush. So as you're combing through your hair using this, obviously these are gonna stretch out and it's not going to tug or break your hair at all. So I like to use the brush with the clip on to keep the prongs separated and after I've conditioned my hair I just comb it through, give it a shake and then squeeze out the excess water and that is it. And last but certainly not least is the Also oh Soft Curls Repairing Oil Treatment. I need to catch my breath, I just run up and down the stairs. So this little oil blend is really really lovely. I like to use it as a scalp treatment and it has things like grapeseed oil, sunflower oil, bilberry leaf extract, vitamin E and again the orange peel extract which gives it a gorgeous smell. It's also a very lightweight oil so if you do use it on the lengths of your hair you're not going to find it overly heavy um, and it's very easy to wash out. So the way I like to use this usually is as a scalp pre-poo Usually I'll do this the night before I wash my hair, so unwashed hair, about half a pipette to one pipette on my hands and then just a really good thorough scalp massage. It smells amazing and it just feels good. This is really good for stimulating hair growth and also really, really good if you have a dry flaky scalp. This is the one thing that really helps with my dry flaky scalp is doing an overnight oil treatment just like this. And when I'm done, I just pop it up in a pineapple and go to bed. So everything you saw me do there in those clips, I actually did yesterday. And these are my results from that wash day. So this is day two here after having just slept in my buff. I'll link a video of what a buff is and why I sleep in it and some tips up here. Delighted with my results. As always, when I use these products, my hair is always shiny. Uh, very light feeling. I did use styling products as well. I used curl cream and a gel for styling, but I used all of these products in my wash day process and uh, they just always work well for me. One thing I really like is that the shampoo contains wheat protein. My hair loves protein, so that works really well for me. But the conditioner and the leave-in conditioner don't contain protein. So you can get that really good protein moisture balance um, by using the shampoo and the conditioner. Uh, and that certainly works for me. Like I said, I have been using a lot of these products for a long time now and they are absolute favourites. They're ones that I go back to again and again. They're, of all my products that I have, these are some that I reach for the most, especially the shampoo and the oil. I can see that scalp brush becoming a real favourite too because that was absolutely amazing. And my daughter Elodie, who's just nearly three, her hair just loves moisture and her hair loves this conditioner. I have a discount code with Sumilai. It's an affiliate code. So if you use it, I get a little bit of commission and it's Marisa 10 and you get 10% off orders from their website. I will link their website in the description box. 
Let me know if you've tried these products, what you think of them. And thank you again to Sumilai for sponsoring today's video. It's my first sponsored video on YouTube. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed that video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you want to see more from me. Bye.